So yeah, I've actually had this thing since Halloween, but I never got around to actually doing a video on it. So here we are, I guess. Oh my gosh, I think we finally found a team, okay? I see three potential Awakening users, and I think I can use Brute Force with like one move, but it still works. And it's Eclipse. I like this. Okay, Lynn, I think this is the team I'm going to go with. I'm just going to lead off with him, bro, okay? If I can get Ascal Traps up, I'm going to get them up, okay? So yeah, I actually had to do quite a lot of testing uh, with Protagon in adventure mode because I, in the back of my mind, I, rem I, I thought I remembered, okay, if I swap in my Protagon, replica and copy their ability, and then swap out, I lose the ability. So whenever I come back in, I copy new one. It turns out it actually still is that okay. So I, I know that. However, then I actually had to go test it because I've never used it in combination before with Cosmior under Surrogate. So if I copy an ability and then my Protagon dies, okay. Does, and Cosmior comes in, do you get Replicate or do you get the ability that you copied? N none of them. It just doesn't work with Protagon's secret ability and I don't know why, to be honest. Uh, here we can just go into Venelon. So uh, yeah, kind of sucks because my entire plan for this was basically bring Cosmior, bring the secret ability Protagon, build a team so Cosmior can take any of their abilities and be great. Even Devious is like, I guess, very... Not useful in most situations, but useful in a very a minuscule amount of uses. Also, I don't know why the game is lagging. I'm not really too sure. I'll throw out a poison this turn, I think. Could do Boucher, but I don't think I really want to here because I'm expecting Kimber to come in. And it's already super slow. So, yeah. So, and then basically, okay, now all my team is really good for Cosmior. But let's say, for example, okay, they have, I don't know, a Revenine or like a real, an, an, their own Cosmior. And I can't use my wrestling, but we have a wrestling. I still want Ace, so my plan was basically, okay, have my secret ability Protagon copy Ace, then when Protagon dies, I get Ace on my Cosmere. But yeah, it doesn't work like that, so rip my plan, I guess. It just doesn't work. We'll go into my own Himber here. We're not going to go into Revenine, because they're most likely going to go for the Earthquake or the Icicle Traps. And if it's Icicle Traps, it just won't work. And that's also fine, so... There we are. We'll do a Himber vs. Himber here. Uh, would love to have gone into Protagon there, but I'm not swapping into an Earthquake. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. We'll just go for my own Earthquake. They don't really have a swap in for Himber, and, and, and neither do I, Alou. Like I said, I don't know why the game is like lagging like animations-wise. Their animations are fine, but it's just my animations on my side. I've never seen that before. That must be like something new because I have no idea what, what is happening. We'll just go for the quick punch here. I don't... Okay, they actually also went for the quick punch, which I don't think will KO me. But this will definitely KO them because of poison, so thanks, man. But unfortunately, that, that does mean one lesser Lumine I can steal Awakening from. Uh, Zulong, I mean, yeah, Brute Force is fine. I think it will only work on Thunder Strike. Energy Surge, I'm not entirely sure on. Also, not really sure why you'd go into Zulong, but I'll, I'll quick punch and uh, get a little bit of damage and then go into my Predagon to see what ability you have, I guess. Which I guess is also fine. So yeah, that, so that's my plan, okay? I've actually been recording for like three days, trying to get good teams. I don't have like Chartikis, Eleguanas, just some teams. Hopefully with like a Teclipse, because Secret Blade Predagon counters to clips so good. Because you're immune to light and dark type moves, which right now only Teclipse only has light type moves but it will eventually have dark type moves and we're metal so we also resist type plus so it completely counters it amazing so i've been trying to like hunt for eclipses as well it's actually awakening that's actually good uh now here's the thing uh, awakening doesn't boost energy surge but i'm pretty sure energy surge should still ko this if well we, are, we aren't actually at plus one so i'm not really sure if it will oh no it does still okay that's, that's another issue as well with uh, Protagon's secret ability. I think the normal ability is actually better, unless you can like specifically copy like Ace or something, uh, because Protagon's normal ability gives you a range attack boost, so that's why most people now run smart Protagons rather than nimble Protagons. But the issue with the secret ability one is you're losing a lot of damage potential, okay? like a lot, like plus one range attack is really good. Uh, that's why so many Lumians try to invest in the range defense a little bit to actually give Protagon a melee attack boost. It's scary. It's really scary. So, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks that we lose that attack increase, but I guess it's fine. 
If we can get good abilities in return for it, I'll take it. Okay, that does suck, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go for a barter this turn. I want to get rid of bat. Uh, I want to get rid of my heavy shackles because we've held on to them for quite a while. And yeah, I, I want to like actually outspeed some things and heal against them. And Dusk is fine. Now, unfortunately, um, this means I either have another Awakening user for us or the Eclipse. And I'm hoping it's the Eclipse because I would love to just counter it, basically. That's my goal. Predagon just doesn't work against Dusk. Like, what's, what's it going to do? Poison me? No, it, it can't. So, uh, yeah. I guess we'll just throw a Poison low. Dusk it can't one-shot us, it has to definitely two-shot us, I'm pretty sure. Of course I miss, why wouldn't I miss? Uh, yeah, definitely. So, we'll just go for the poison again, I guess. Probably shouldn't sacrifice my Vendelon here, because I don't have a swap in for the Cephalops, but... Oh well. <laughs> I'm doing it anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then I guess we can go into, um... My Protogon. Oh, actually, wait! No, no. Uh, harmonize doesn't work with sleep yet. Yet. I was gonna say, if it has hypnotize, it would work, but no, it, that, that isn't in the game yet. We'll go pretty gone, see where it is. It is harmonize. If it was secret ability, that would also be nice, but I, I doubt people really have that. Um, we can actually trap him into deja vu, so I'll, I'll actually do that. So he's not gonna do like a lot of damage to us because we resist it. So hey, hey, I gotcha. Still does a a decent bit of damage okay, but I want to make sure that we get the poison damage okay. I'll go for the Metal Blast this turn, Len. They're gonna go for the Withdraw, probably into Cephalops. Yup. Cephalops is back on the field. Uh, we could actually stay in and click Thunderstrike, but like I mentioned, we aren't getting our damage increase, so we definitely don't one-shot this, because Cephalops is really, really, really bulky. So we go, um... Wrestling here, and we click Blaze Punch, expecting the Dusk to come back out. There's a lot of damage. Dang. <laughs> I also forget how much damage that thing does. It's a lot. Uh, but yeah, we Blaze Punch twice, uh, because Dusk is definitely going to come in. But because we've already Heavy Shackled it, we don't have to really worry about it outspeeding us. So, heh <laughs> heh. go Tread damage, Blaze Punch damage, and Burn damage. Love to see it. Okay, then. So we can just Blaze Punch again, and that'll be the Dusk get down. Uh, see you later. Glad that is down, because it was going to cause issues for my wrestling, and now it's not. Now I can click Adaptive Assault and not care about anything. Cephalops, that is fine. I don't want your ability. I don't think it would work on Energy Surge as well. I, I don't think it would work on Energy Surge. We'll just click Adaptive Assault to do some mega damage. <laughs> oh, that is mega damage. That, that really is mega damage. Uh, would love to not go into Predagon here. We definitely go Revenine, click Fire Breath. Um, interested to see what their last Lumion is. I, I hope it's Eclipse. I'm, I'm hoping it's Eclipse. Otherwise, we didn't really get to use Predagon that much. So I'm hoping for Eclipse just so I can completely make it useless, okay? That is my goal. Please have it Eclipse. I don't think he has Serenite, because he would have sent it out a long time ago. It is to Clips, nice! In a typeless disc, have to say, probably one of the worst discs in the game. You're definitely going to go uh, Gamma Pulse, right? There's no way you don't. Like, you should be scared about me just Fire Breathing again. So, uh, or twice, so you should just go Gamma Pulse, right? Easy Toil Eclipse. Escape Go, okay, that's uh, fine, I guess. That's fine, but here's the issue. What are you going to hit me with now? If you go for scapegoat again, that's going to be so annoying. Because you are going to be wasting my energy, which would suck. I only have so many of these, okay? I only have so many Metal Blasts. But, um... We could also... If, if he uses, like, Gamma Pulse for whatever reason, we could have also just Deja Vu'd him into it. Literally nothing else he can do. Raging Howl, that's fine. We just Metal Blast. I mean, yeah, Protagon, like, isn't that tanky, but... When he has a range... Uh, well, I guess our range defense is slightly higher, but if it's a resisted move and it's not stab, we're going to be tanking him for days, okay? Watch, I can only use one more of these, so hopefully this is enough to KO. It is. Nice. But yeah, take it with the Protagon. I guess we'll hop into another one, and hopefully 
we can find one within the next couple hours, otherwise big rip, and hopefully it actually does something more than that battle, but we'll see. Okay then, hopping into the next one, I see another few abilities that I like, okay? Ace? Maybe Ace again? In Phoenix, it's a Gamma, so I don't think it's going to be a secret ability one. If it is low, also nice, but I think actually the best ability I can take is Wise. But, uh, I don't think really too many of these Lumis resist me, so it probably won't really come in handy, but oh well. Okay, Len, I think I'm gonna go with this team, okay, Len? I would love to bring uh, Umbra or Wrestlem, but they have the bug. The bug. So, Quad resists Dark, and Wrestlem just can't really hit it, so there's no really point. We'll go for Ice Cold Traps on the Hava. I'm not saying its full name. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know, okay? I ain't trying to get uh, demonetized again. Okay, Driving Falls. That's fine. Um, Kind of wish I went for Ice Hammer, but we'll take some free Ice Cold Traps, okay? I'm gonna go straight into my Cosmiar, which uh, isn't staying in. Actually, I guess we could. But I don't think we one-shot Hava. So we're gonna go back into Himber. I think, that's a, I think that's a good idea. We're gonna go back into Himber. If he clicks Driving Force again, Galaxy Brain. But he doesn't so tiny brain. Yeah, uh, the reason why Hav is an interesting Lumion as well, this is one of the Lumions uh, where you can't ability thief it with Ragoon, but I'm also pretty sure you can't copy it with a Prodigon. Which is why I wasn't really like that excited to like see this compared to like everything else on the team. So I don't think I don't think off the top of my head you can copy Hav's ability. I don't think you can. Also, I am gonna trade my Himber here, which isn't the greatest thing, but now the Hav is weak enough, okay. There we are. Uh, that's fine. Okay, now we can just go into my uh Cosmior. And now we have Awakening! Not as good as Ace, but it's still something, right? It's better than having no ability. So, yeah. Now we just go for a Meteor Smash. We don't care what you go into, okay? They actually just stayed in, which I'm a little bit surprised about. It should be in Phoenix, right? They go into... Wrestle! You do know what you're against, right? Um, Mind type, so resist Brawler. Um... Ancient type, so resist fire. What can you even do against me? I, I, I mean, I, they're probably trying to like just go into their own Cosmiar. That's probably just what it is, which actually is pretty good for us. I, I, I'm just saying, that's actually pretty good for us because my Protagon can copy its uh, ace ability. We'll just go for a Meteor Smash, I guess, here, just in case I went into their Infernix. But yeah, I will gladly take ace, okay? I'll gladly take Ace. That's like one of the best abilities we can just like copy. Because, like I said, since our Protagon isn't getting a damage increase from its normal ability, Ace is basically the next best thing, and I think it actually does way more damage than a, a plus one would ever do, because it doubles your damage. Awakening is basically just a... Actually, wait, let me think. Plus one is basically plus 50%. So unless our ability is giving us plus 50%, it's not really like that worth it. Like Awakening is only 20 plus 25% and only for stab moves. Ace is double but only for stab moves again, which programs a pure metal type. Eh. Eh. Um I think we sacrifice Revenine here, which I don't I, I, I need to stop sacrificing Lumis. Like I really need to. We could just go into uh Okay, Meteor Smash, that's fine. We could have just completely just gone into uh, Protagon there, but we're not like super tanky, so I don't really want to take a Ace Meteor Smash from Cosmiar. Definitely don't. Now please tell me this cop is Ace right. You you better. You you better. Thank you. <laughs> we we like that. We really like that. Okay, they stayed in. Um, I'm fine with that. See you later. So yeah, so. I don't know. This is why, like, most people prefer the normal ability pretty gone. Plus one, 50% increase for all of your attacking moves. For well, range attack, uh, mostly, okay. Compared to double damage, but only for one of your moves. Yeah, not exactly, like, the best thing. Also, we could gamble that this could be a very smart Zulong. Most people run very smart Zulongs th these days, okay. But I'm not trying to get one-shotted 
And then my Protagon does nothing this bad or okay. care. So we're gonna go into Venelon because it just counters Zulong, so don't care. I, w I will battle though. I, I mean, we might as well battle first, though, right? Because if they stayed in, <laughs> that's pretty good. This is also fine. Because now we have speed you and we can heal as much as I want. But, uh, oh, actually, I actually just remembered. I literally said it in the first battle. I lose the ability when I swap out. I don't have Ace anymore, my Prodigon. I guess we'll take Wind we'll, we'll take Windrix's wise ability. If it's glide and it uses a air move. It, it didn't. Uh yeah, that's definitely wise because I did way more damage. Also, I, I it probably is wise. I didn't pay attention to what ability my Prodigon stole, so I actually have no idea. We'll just click a Metal Blast slow. It looks like we actually can take another hit from Wintrix anyway, but this is fine. It goes down either way. Now then, follow the Zulong. Uh, I guess we can just hit it with a Energy Surge, I guess, and just see if we do outspeed it. Let's see if it's nimble smart, very smart, or very nimble, I guess. Most, most people run very smart. Is it very smart? I haven't used a Zulong, by the way, like, in all, probably like more than a year now. Probably should do that. I, I I really haven't used a Zulong for such a long time. I actually have no idea how to even run it anymore, on, honestly. Okay, we do have speed it, so it's probably a very smart one. Oh, and that's, that's the issue. Uh, even if I had Ace, Ace doesn't increase uh, energy surge, so we would have just died anywhere. That's like the issue with Secret Billy Protagon. A very cool concept, but a l compared to the normal one, I mean, also clearly not as much, not enough damage. Like, just not enough damage. Adaptive Assault Low should be enough for us to win the game, because I think this is our last Lumion now, and they're one shot. So, don't care whatever you throw at me, okay? You're gonna go down. Unless you paralyze me and fully paralyze me, but you didn't. So, nice. Okay, then. I went pretty well. Let's get into the set line, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, then, jumping into the set line, we are running Nimble 200 speed TPs. Thought let's be as fast as possible. 200 Drain Attack TPs with Power Cuss, lets us hit as hard as possible. 44 Energy TPs at level 50, gives us 285 energy to work with, which lets us go for 3 Metal Blasts and 2 Thunder Strikes, and then the 56 health just leftovers. Basically, our goal for this, since we have the Secret Ability Replicate, is to hopefully copy some good abilities for Prodigon to use, which there aren't really that many, since stuff like Awakening isn't fundamentally that great, since the normal ability Prodigon still does more damage than stuff like Awakening. So we kind of limit ourselves to a lot of things like Total Eclipse and Ace. All on that, there aren't really like that many abilities that are really worth taking because they fundamentally just do less damage than the normal ability Predagon. So yeah. Anyway, that being said though, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.